Hey guys, Aaron here for the Love of Tech, and today I want to show you how you can take photos from your Note 8 and transfer them to your MacBook Pro or another Apple equivalent product. Stick around and find out exactly how easy it is. Now what you want to do is you want to come down here and you want to make sure that you have this selected for transfer files. After you have transfer files open, I use Android file transfer for a Mac. It's pretty easy. I'll put a link in the description so you can find this program if you want to use it as well. But the reason is I need to have my phone set on the correct transfer protocol before I activate um, I activate Android transfer and the reason for that is I'm not really too sure exactly why but that's that's how it likes to work um, that's when it says that it'll work is after you have it selected correctly if I don't have it selected correctly what it ends up doing is stalling out on me and saying it can't find anything just a real quick word of caution right here when you're selecting which way to transfer files you may have to toggle back and forth between transfer images or transfer files. Do this until you figure out which one your Android app actually recognizes. Based on my experience, sometimes it works one way and another times it works another. You just gotta find the one that works best for you. So here it is in absolute all of its glory. Uh, all of your files, all of your folders. Again, this is Android on a Mac. It doesn't work the best, but this is an option that works for me. I know that there's other ones, other third-party apps and things like this. This is the easiest one for me, and you can download this directly from Samsung or Google's website. So it's real, it exists, it's a solid program. And as you can see, here are all of my, uh, all my files that are on my absolute phone and then you come over here you go to card and it shows everything that's on your SD card so there's kind of two different spots where you can look for files to transfer things is really quick uh, USB C USB C pretty quick obviously not as fast as a uh, SSD all standalone but as far as cable transfers it's pretty top-notch in my opinion I hope that this video has been a little bit helpful. I hope if you're struggling getting your larger files from your phone to your MacBook or your iMac, this is a little bit of a solution for you. And I hope that you find this information useful. For the love of tech, namaste. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed to the channel or you're not subscribed to the channel or you just subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the notification bell right now. That way you know when videos are coming out and you can participate and have the best chance in having fun with us. Again, for the love of tech, namaste.